Okay, Balash, today you had another quick draw. Tell us about it. First of all, sorry to the audience. Uh, well, actually, uh, I can tell that yesterday evening I, I spent like only two to three hours to decide what I play because uh, I wasn't sure whether to uh, try for, for more as I did in the last uh, two black games when I took uh, quite a lot of risk and uh, against uh, Olga it almost backfired or to go for uh, stability. And of course, it, uh, this is what made my uh, choice quite difficult and then uh, it took a lot of energy. Uh, I came up with uh, the Berlin, which is quite a solid opening. And I think uh, I got uh, quite a decent position. Uh, I didn't check this line today. Uh, I checked it once I arrived here, I think on Sunday in not so much detail, but I remember for some move order tricks and uh, plans. And uh, I think uh, at the end uh, it is uh, equal, seemingly better for me. And uh, when Mari offered the draw, I first uh, my first instinct was to play on, but then I couldn't find a constructive plan uh, okay also for her so it was like a standstill uh, position and then I decided that I think the match is uh, going uh, quite well today for us uh, I think Joe has quite a nice position so I was like uh, draw is fine with black I hope we can equal the scores at least today and then we will uh, wait for the uh, second half of the tournament with uh, three white games and only two blacks okay let's have a look at the game okay uh, I think this was uh, one kind of key position, I don't say critical, uh, but a key position in the game because here natural move would be to play uh, castle, but I don't want to play too early because my plan would be to play, uh, I played knight f8, knight f8, knight g6 and then castle or knight e6 and then castle because knight uh, has, a, has a, a, a road via f8 all the time, like to e6 or g6, but if I castle first, mm -hmm. Then, uh, then I have to uh, move my rook and uh, I try to put uh, something on the board like let's say when it can make uh, sense like uh, okay let's say c3, knight g6, sorry knight yeah, g6, so you have to knight g6, them, that's it. That's it. Uh, okay d4 takes takes, uh, I only want to show the plan bishop e7 yeah. and my plan is I want to play castle and the rook is doing actually very well on uh, f8 because I uh, I can push f5 after that. And if e5 happens, then bishop e6, bishop d5. So that's why I can postpone castling. Uh, but actually, I had to make sure that uh, knight takes e5 instead of bishop e3 uh, okay. doesn't work. It doesn't work in two ways. Uh, one, I spotted during the game, of course, I had to knight g6, knight takes e5. Seemingly... Uh, white has uh, more than one tactics because I cannot take on e5 and bishop is hanging also knight g6 is, uh, is threatened yes. but I have queen h4 I think only move but it's uh, basically winning for me but okay. uh, during analysis uh, Mari showed another I think beautiful line uh, Where you want to go? Uh, instead of knight g6 g6 queen, queen h5 g6 bishop goes back and I thought uh, queen must come out, but actually there is bishop e6 trapping. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's an unusual way to trap. Yes, it. yes, yeah. because knight covers everything. Okay, previous move yeah. I had white had bishop, bishop g5, but uh, okay, then I have a lot of material. So knight f8 uh, I found, and then uh, she played uh, bishop to e3. And here I could go back to, uh, to e7, but then I was afraid that some c3 and uh, d4 will come uh, quite quickly. And the move I would want to make, bishop e6, uh, runs into typical motif knight a5. And I cannot play b6 because knight c6 uh, actually at the end will take the bishop. And okay, whenever I play queen c8 uh, or anything, then still no b6. And if we go back one move, let's say I play c3 uh, knight move. Uh, Sorry, here. Yeah. Uh, Do you mean right uh, back here somewhere? In, yeah, here c3. Uh, knight g6, I wanted to show the plan, but uh, my concrete idea was to play bishop e6. And if uh, white, uh, she goes knight a5, knight can play bishop b6 to force the knight back ah. because now she cannot take because queen uh, c8 uh, traps the knight. And uh, I think even in the game, uh, bishop e3, uh, when I took bishop e3, bishop e3, let's say uh, she takes back with the pawn, bishop e6, it is still the case because knight a5, I have b6, and if she takes queen d6, and I cut the road back to b4. So. Therefore, uh, I got rid of this idea and uh, knight d5, uh, 12th move was one more interesting. Uh, I think she mentioned that uh, she saw this plan in one of crucial games that white goes or g3 and f4. 
And originally, I would want to put uh, the bishop uh, on the long diagonal ASAP. Uh, but here, I think white is too quick with f4, and I'm not in uh, uh, time to stop uh, okay. f5. He, she will play f5 herself, and if knight d4, c3. So it was, I think, clever. She also mentioned that it's quite clever to start with c5. Because point is that if g3, then I have knight d4. If I go one knight d4, one move earlier, then I cannot go back to c6. So, but now I made uh, ah, room for the knight, knight c6. And uh, if she goes for f4 instead, then uh, I can take and uh, and if I can stop it, uh, I think either bishop a3, but bishop is not safe there, or I wanted to play f5 and bishop e6. And actually, bishop uh, once e5 comes, then I have b b6, bishop g7, b7. Uh, b7 uh, it's very good, but other than that, I can still play bishop e6. And in the final uh, position, my first uh, thought was uh, not to accept the draw, but I didn't see how to proceed because. Whenever I move my knight, let's say knight d4, there comes f4, and then, mm. okay, the structural disadvantage might tell in the long run. So I wanted to keep my knight on e6, let's say bishop b7. Now g3, especially with the king on h1, f4 doesn't really work because it's hit by f5, but okay, white just keeps waiting. Uh, she said she wanted to play f3, queen f2, and what do I do? I cannot uh, move any of my uh, queenside pawns because it makes the situation ten, ten times worse. f5 weakens the f5 pawn. <laughs> So, what to do? Yeah, okay, it's a kind of standoff, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Okay, thanks very much. Thank then. you. Bye.